Right, here we are in the rolling hills of Northumberland. Now, rolling, Adam, rolling, rolling. <laughs> remember rolling rat? And Kevin. Rat phones, or whatever we used to say. I'm fed up with you looking at other women. But Ainge, I swear to you, I don't even know any other women. Oh, <laughs> Hello, girls. Yeah, not now. <laughs> anyway, back on top. <laughs> Right, so we're in the rolling hills of Northumberland. Now, <laughs> the reason we've come here is to visit a place called St Cuthbert's Cave. Yeah. So I'm going to give you the quick rundown because I don't know a lot about it. But I think I, I don't like to know too much about places because so otherwise what's the point in St. going? St Cuthbert is the patron saint of Northumberland, did you say? Apparently, yeah. Right, okay. um, I mean, he's not widely celebrated because most people don't know that, but he's the patron saint of Northumberland. How that came about was... I'll give you the basics that I know, but I, I've just skimmed over it um, because I, I prefer to go somewhere and learn about it. So, in fact, I'll pull up a map. I like pulling up maps, so I'll put a map somewhere on the screen here to explain. We're in the northeast of England, which is at the top of the country as before you hit the border with Scotland. And close to that area is the Lindisfarne. Now, Lindisfarne has Holy Island, and the monks used to be there in the monastery and they used to do the fantastic calligraphy and things like that. Mm. So... What happened was, eventually though, the Vikings got keen to that. And the Vikings, who came from Scandinavia over the sea, um, as most people will know from the history lessons, used to attack and ravage the northeast coast. Um, to be fair, they weren't just brutal savages. I know they're portrayed like that in a lot of films and TV series because that's cool. And, and don't believe the horns coming out their helmets because that's a load of nonsense It's a fallacy, well. yes. It, it, again, it's an interpretation of what people think people are like. But they were fantastic seafarers and traders, really. And yes, they were successful raiders. So they used to, Viking raids used to come and pillage all the religious artifacts really from the this area so what they did was eventually to hide the remains of saint cuthbert they took them to a cave in this area so so if we can find it so somewhere in this area providing we can find it is a cave where in i think it was ad 875 so way back medieval times they hid his remains here for for a period of time anyway and then it was moved on because obviously you kind of keep putting stuff on holy island if the vikings turn up every, every five minutes and running through with a sword so that's nice. all i know but it'll be nice to see so what we're going to do is we're going to go up we need to go up a path and into a secret woods to find it now yeah we'll, so we're just going to do a little adventure about just to see what we come across aye, and, aye. so there's the cave and then there's another walkway. there's some water over to the left from what, my, what, like my a fall or something no it's like a, a body of water but we'll have a look okay but the main thing is i just want to have a look at this cave so what did, now you were commenting what do you think of the drive to this area lovely it's absolutely beautiful um rolling hills so we're not far from the a1 which is the main road between sort of edinburgh and heading down uh south mm -hmm. towards newcastle so um, you know, if you decide to come along here, you just come off the A1. Yeah. Um, that's all I really know, but you know, it's Which absolutely is, beautiful. Wrong with that. It's, it looks lovely out today, but it's still wrapping up weather. Um, because uh, it's not technically spring yet here, is it? No, well, two weeks' time it's meant to be spring. A couple of so weeks' time, spring. Sort of March. So there's still brown the leaves all over. There's very few buds on trees. And if there are buds, that they certainly yeah, haven't they're, opened they're yet. They're trying their best. But anyway, and the birds are all out. So they're looking forward well, to Well, I think spring. I saw a yellow hammer. I was mm -hmm. coming down the country lane and it went from right to left. And it was like a flash of yellow. Wow, massive. And then whew, 
Well, so we're meant to have work. quite a lot of um, wildlife around here, so we'll try and capture as much as we can. Well, from Looking where we're from it. where we're sitting, we can see like a crabby, a crag, a crabby, a craggy hill, <laughs> and can you see all those little white dots? Oh, the wee sheep. There's sheep just roaming all over the shop here, which is another thing that I want to get onto. Why does lamb cost so much when the entirety of the drive here we were surrounded there's by fields full of sheep? In so the UK. can someone can, if there's a farm out? Can they answer that? Because I don't know anything about how that works, but get a bit annoyed. Mm. I like a bit of lamb now and then. Yeah. But there you go. But then now we'll get the vegetarians saying, well, you shouldn't like a little bit of lamb, but leave them alone. Then you'll get the vegans coming on, and then you'll get them. <laughs> yeah, and then the... You can go on and on, and then uh, we'll get the Brexiters. Let's not start uh, let's everybody not start with that. Let's not start Brexit. <laughs> well, there are people who afford... Well, actually, just if for people who don't know... Um, I mean, I'm certainly not going to get into the... No, the I think we should clap at it now. No, no, but I will say for people who aren't from this country, um, Brexit was a very close-run thing. Was it 50, 53% mm -hmm. or something? It was it very was. close. So, so you really had half the country who said, yes, Brexit, and almost half who said no. So it's, it was quite interesting. But again, I'm not going to go into that because that's not what this is about. So it's time to get out. Look at that bird in the tree. I don't know. Oh yeah. There's a little. There's a little. Wee, there's a little sparrow in the tree there. So Lovely. Like the sparrow, we're going to flit off with beady eyes, doing that all over the shop. We're commandoing off. Aye. We'll, we'll not talk about that. Right. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>
getting in on the area where we're seeing Cuthbert's cave is. But I'm just having a little look around because we're nearly at the main area. But there's uh, loads of little tracks that I want to have a look at. I mean, look at this area, it's great. It's all mainly pine. I mean, it looks like Scott's pine up there. But, uh, lovely area. Lovely woodland. I mean, it looks managed because it's all cleared out on the floor, but really nice place. So I'll see where I can spot and then I head over that way, I should be able to get to the cave. So we'll, we'll continue. I've seen yellow hammers, I've seen doves, wood pigeons, um, robin. So a robin, uh, so it's very wildlife diverse here. I think it's because you're away from all the houses, it's a nice area. Right, so let's continue.
return we've done nearly five miles and nearly 11,000 steps and I'm just going to close this door a bit more listen to that wind I know it's it's been a bit breezy up the top aye blown a hooli here's a question then kilts how do in the olden days how did men stop the wind blowing the kilts up or did they just not bother You've got to let it all blow free. <laughs> it's a good era. No, just a question, because obviously they used to wear them going into battle and all sorts of stuff. I didn't know Keeps whether... Keeps you fresh. Aye, put some stones in the spur and well, the them. It allows them to have a longer stride, True, it, when which is a tactical advantage, especially going up down hills. Stomping about. Yeah. Um, so there you go, but yeah. But anyway, let's get chatting about Instead our St Cuthbert's hanging, Cove yes. or Cave. St Cuthbert's Cave. Well, we went from this parking spot, we went up north... And then we went to the east onto like a hilled area and we saw St. Cuthbert's Cave. It's not really a cave, is it? It's more of an overhang. Yeah. Than a cave. But I still liked it. It was nice. Um, quite interesting. And then we're headed up to a, a cairn and then along to a trigonometry point and then along to a water a cairn. body. Explain what a cairn is. A cairn is just a man-made structure made out of stone, really, yeah. essentially. And it certainly wasn't a, an old... A cairn means like like a crag and things like that, doesn't it? It's just like a pile stones. of stones, really. But it's not the ones, it's not the old monolithic ones, uh, the really, really far back, you know, going back to the Beaker people and things like that. It's, it looks like a modern thing. It's very small. And then we worked our way along to the trigonometry point where the wind nearly got the better of us. Um, Until we reached the fire. Ah, there was a nice fire. But there was a sheep guarding it. It, was, it, was given, it, it gave us the evil eye, didn't it? I mm, felt, I, I security felt, sheep. I felt obliged to move on after I was glared at by a, an ungulate or whatever they're called. So we moved on quickly and we worked our way. And then I heard a little robin singing and that was nice. Lovely. So we've had a nice day out, but, you know, that wind's certainly fresh. It is to now. To say the least. Um, so Because it's still, it not, lovely, it's nice still not, it's not spring yet. No. So we can't expect any better. Yeah, exactly. So, so it's so, very nice. What's going on over there? Oh, oh no, right. There's a, there's a rabble arriving. Yeah. So quickly, we're going yeah, to have so to we're going to have to cut this off. short because there's nothing worse. <laughs> Never work with children, animals, or rabbles. <laughs> so right. So marks out of ten. Um. Okay. For, for the for what we did, not necessarily just visiting that, but for the route that we did, what do you, what do you reckon? Well, it's not a difficult route. Just to let you know. Nice so, views. Um, quite a mixture of age groups that we passed today, so Aye. you know it's not age restricted of the walk. No, um, elderly people were there enjoying it, and kids. Six and a half out of ten. Six and a half. I think yeah. it's it's very rugged and there's nice high views. We could see all the way across to Holy Island, which, as I mentioned at the start of the video, is where the monks brought the alleged remains of Saint Cuthbert and put them in the. Uh, the cave that I went to. So that mm -hmm. was, that, that we, you could see the spot that they were supposed to have come from. I mean, that was quite a bit of way to walk, wasn't it? I don't know whether they had yeah. a horse or a skateboard or anything. <laughs> but Hoverboard. The, they're reputed to have done that anyway. So, you give it seven. No, six and a half. Six and a half, okay. I'm going to give it, I think seven. I'm going to give it okay. seven. Okay, so yeah. that's not too bad no. then. I've got it, the reason I've given it a seven is because if there's there's scope for more, you can run around and there's there's other bits you can look at. When we looked over to the area where you've got Holy Island, there's a like a wetlandy bit. It looks managed because you you parted this out. You said it looks structured the way they've they've got the yeah. wet there. Um, so there's room for more. You can certainly do a longer. And we nearly got lost. We ended up in like a farmer's field, but we got there eventually so seven i think that's a perfectly accurate i like the cave but it's more of an overhang still very interesting nice bit of history nice area nice drive here yeah no was, uh, the drive here was beautiful really really nice mm -hmm. and i'm pretty sure there'll be lots more there's actually is a lot of different walks that we've seen as we loads, were driving here loads, loads of walks so Aye. that's just one of very very many in northumberland mm -hmm. so um yeah definitely get yourself out they do advise that you keep your dogs on a lead um, and all, the and sheep are roaming free. That's very true, but most of the people we saw just ignored that. Yeah. But I'm not here to whinge about people who own dogs because we like dogs, don't we? Yes, of course. We, we like all animals, but please, you must be careful. You must be careful. So we've do, we've given our votes. Now, another thing you need to give your votes on: you had Thai spicy nuts halfway around the trip. So <laughs> vote marks on them. 
<laughs> they were just all right, I suppose, because they've not had lunch. I thought so they were a bit monkey. In fact, where just, were they? They were not going to browse here. They're just um, stop gap and a little filler for us, so they're not really anything. I that's... thought they were they were too they were bigged up with a name, but they didn't come to anything. So that, well, that we left a couple for whatever wee animal discovers something. Exactly, <laughs> we'll share and share alike. Exactly, that's what it comes down to. Right, and so we've had a lovely time, but it's time to go because we need. Big gobbles. Because we've walked because <laughs> we've walked so far. Well you've got to fuel the body, you've got to fuel the body. So let, let's pop off and get something to eat there. That's the very one. Exactly. So bye bye. Bye.